Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And I'm here to take a little look into this experiment. Now this experiment involves growing Dicobacchia plants with different electronic components. But before we take a look at the experiment, I want you to see this. So this is what the Dicobacchia plant is supposed to look like. So it has leaves the size of your hand and very highly patterned leaves. And the reason why this one looks so good is down here. So this plant has a battery connected to its roots and also its upper stem structure. And the reason why that battery was put there is because my plants are grown in radio wave fields that come from transmitting utility meters and three cell phone towers that are in my neighborhood. And that combination of radio frequency exposures extensively deforms any Dicobacchia that I bring into the home. So you connect them up to a battery and it prevents the deformity. So this experiment here was an extension of that experiment. And the idea was to see if we could replace the battery with different types of electronic components and whether we would see the same growth effect. And as you can see, the experiment did not produce the same results. I'm going to take a little look at this one. So in here is a diode and you can see that one side of the diode goes to the pot, the other side used to go up into the plant and this plant is now dead. And it's actually died twice. So the first time it died was February and it was replaced and it's now died again. So this one used a capacitor. So we take a little look at the pot. We can see the capacitor. So we've got one side going to the pot and the other side goes up into the plant. And again, we have a dead plant and like the first plant that we looked at, the plant died in February and was replaced. So this is the second time this has happened. So this one is a diode again, but diodes have polarity. So this is the opposite polarity. So one side goes to the pot, the other side goes off into the plant. And again, we have a dead plant. So here we have a coil. So it's wound around a standard pencil and one side goes to the pot and the other side goes off into the plant. And this one's actually alive, but this one also died in February and was replaced, but it's not very healthy. And as we saw from the first Typhon Bacchia with the battery that we looked at, that this is not the way the Typhon Bacchia is supposed to grow. So this is very typical of how all of my control plants would grow up until recently. So the coil doesn't seem to have any beneficial effects to the plant. And based on the fact that the first plant died, it may actually be quite harmful to the plant. So that's growing plants with electrical and electronic components. And my conclusion is the battery is beneficial for every other component that I tried did not produce any beneficial effects whatsoever. And actually maybe quite harmful in the biological domain. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.